in Martinique right now and it's June 7th. The hurricane season starts on June 1st so we should, to feel a bit better about things, we should be a little bit more south. If a hurricane comes right now, um, we'll have to sail maybe even up to two days down to Trinidad to get out of the way. So most cruisers tend to be a little bit more south than we are right now. So there's a sense of urgency to, to keep going south. But more pressingly, it's Simon's birthday in a couple of days and he really wants to spend it in St. Lucia in Marigot Bay with our boat buddies Rondo and Pura Vida and any other boat buddies that are around. I think we're going to probably do a, uh, a grocery shop and get some, some provisions in Martinique and then head south. I feel like we've been going for quite some time, you know, like it's, we enjoy a place, get in the boat and keep going. But now I feel like there's more anxiety in the air because hurricane season started and we really need to make sure, you know, we can get out of harm's way if a, if a storm does crop up. And I'm looking forward to getting to St. Lucia. It's one of my favorite islands. With one more day on the beautiful French island, our main aim was to take full advantage of the massive French supermarkets, excellent selection of food and beverages, and for us, we were in the market for a microwave. Considering our boat is European electric, we could source a microwave with the right electricity and plug. Our Britican experience guest, Dawa, helped to get the microwave out of its space and create the specs necessary to source a new one. In the morning, we woke the girls up. Katie Grace from Pura Vida slept over. Once we were all up, we met up with our boat buddies, Pura Vida and Rondo, and went to the town to get some breakfast from the bakery. We then rented a bus and a car and headed to the capital city. This is so cool. So we got the anchorage that's kind of out there. Is that us out there? No. Oh. So there's Pura Vida, there's Rondo, there's Brudikin, and there's Dauntless. Here we are again. There's Pura Vida. There's oh, Pura Vida, Rondo, Brudikin. Martinique is a cruiser's paradise for reasonably cost groceries, inexpensive wines, and stores that practically provide anything and everything you could ask for. Outside the French islands, the selection is usually much smaller and far more expensive. Yeah. There's, is that pretty king there? Yep. Oh yeah. Well, what? We can set it. Yeah, yeah. This is all the stuff we bought today. We managed to get a microwave. After our trip to the supermarket, we all spent a couple hours putting away our provisions, and then we all went to bed for an early night. In the morning, we got up, weighed our anchor, and headed south for St. Lucia. St. Lucia, uh, Martinique. We're here, and we're gonna come down past Port de France, straight down into Rodney Bay, and then we're gonna come and anchor around here. We've done it before, and we know it, we know it very well. And then we'll come in, dinghy, and the customs and immigration is in Rodney Bay Marina. Got Pura Vida straight ahead of us. They left five minutes before we did. Got Rondo that's coming behind us, I believe. Goodbye, Saint Pierre. Thank you for having us in Martinique. It was great. Thank you. Thank you, Martinique, for having it. It was wonderful. I got a new iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> because of why? Because I took a swim with my other one. <laughs> <laughs> Expensive swim, eh? Uh, 400 euro swim. <laughs> My family think I'm nuts, but I make this dolphin call, and quite often I do actually get a response. Okay, that's the wind we've got. That's apparent wind, and that's the speed we're doing with it. And we've got one reef in the main, and we are no weather helm. It's Beautiful sailing. Okay, weather helm is when the wind and the current are a little bit too strong and you've got too much sail out that the boat keeps running off and you have to keep moving the rudder a lot more so it's not, it's acting like as, as a, instead of being nice and straight, it's acting, you have to turn it to keep it going straight and it's acting as a brake and that's the weather helm. At the moment we've got very little and we are sailing really quickly. 9 4. Do we remember the name of what it might be? No, I forgot. What's something like sour shop or something? Oh, is it a sour shop? 
I've had sour sap before. While we were sailing down the side of Martinique, we enjoyed a brisk sail and some lovely sour sap, a fruit that can't really be likened to anything else I've ever had. So that's the end of Martinique right there and straight ahead you can see a line of white caps. So that's where we're going to go out into the open Atlantic. We expect conditions to get a bit stronger. Checking the radar to see about this uh, front that is coming our way. We are here, the radar's going around, and there's some little dots here, which is that grey black cloud out there, which is about seven miles away. So the radar's picking that up. A lot of birds flying around us today, look. Looking for fish that we're disturbing as we sail along. Happy to be back in St. Lucia. That's one of our absolutely favorite spots. When we finished crossing the Atlantic Ocean, this is where we landed. So um, it just brings back good memories. And uh, so we're going to check in here. And then we're going to go down to Marigot Bay and uh, celebrate, hopefully celebrate Simon's 52nd birthday. So it's really great to be here. So Sienna and I are going to nip into Rodney Bay while Simon checks us in and we're going to see if we can get him a birthday card and a birthday cake and maybe something else. In Martinique we managed to get him a couple things for fishing and uh, we'll see what we can get him today. It's nice when you can get a, a present. There's been a couple times when we've been in the Med in the Caribbean. Uh, birthdays come up and there's no store, there's nothing you can really get. So it's, it's nice to get presents that you know you can give and you know. People can open them. <laughs> so Sienna and I are going to go into town and wish us luck. Hopefully we'll get something good for him for his birthday tomorrow. Happy, happy birthday, Sim. And Sienna gave Simon a card that says, Dad, here's something for you to wear so the whole world will know. <laughs> My daughter's number one. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm cooking him an English breakfast. So we've got tomatoes, bacon, toast. We've got some baked beans, making the coffee. Soon we will all be enjoying it. With HP sauce. With HP sauce. Did I do a good British breakfast? You did. Wow, look at this. Check that out. You're not going to lose a fish again after you're using that. Whoa. Oh, look at that. For my beer. That's so it, what do you think? Yeah, it's great. <laughs> we need this. So this you put your fishing pole in when you're reeling in the big ones. Yeah, yeah. That, that killed me the other day. <laughs> and we lost it. Yeah. So Sienna picked this out for you. Mm -hmm. For the dads and the kids. <laughs> so guess what you're playing later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're just leaving Rodney Bay Harbor right now. We're going to be back in a couple of days. But we'll say thank you. Here we are in Rodney Bay, we're going to up anchor, go past this little rock here, all the way down, it's only 8 miles, and here is Marigold Bay, and what we do is we come in through all the way along here, it looks, when you first come in, it looks like you're going into land, but you're not and then past this little point and um, the mooring balls are all around here and we're hoping to get a mooring ball around here and that means that we can then use the marina and uh, hotel facilities there it's fantastic, love it Here's my happy honey on his birthday. Me. <laughs> Coming into Marigot Bay. Yeah, where they did uh, Dr. Doolittle.
Check out that view behind me. I mean, it's just spectacular. This place is like a little s slice of paradise here. And there's a resort over on the other side. Um, and if you use their mooring balls, you get full access to the swimming pools and stuff. So it's a really nice place to be. Here comes Rondo into the bay with all the kids out in the front. For Evita coming in now. And there we've got sexy Ansley on the bow. Hayward at the helm. The boat boys that help you onto the mooring are often not associated to the owners of the balls. They do it to make an extra income. In Marigot Bay, the balls do not lift up and many don't have painters, so it's actually best to let someone help you. We usually give around $10 to the boat boys for helping. Let us take you to the resort. What I love about being a cruiser is that we either anchor for free or pay a small fee for a mooring ball, like $30. In return, we get the best views, and often we have access to some of the most luxurious resorts. For $30 a night, we got a great mooring and had access to the lovely pools, bars, and restaurants. As per Simon's request, our plan was to have a happy hour at the resort while enjoying all the amenities and then choose one of the surrounding restaurants in the bay for his birthday dinner. So how are you feeling? Feeling good. <laughs> I feel like I'm feeling good. You look like you're feeling amazing. <laughs> Me too. On the way back to the boat, we booked a table. Uh, you get a free drink. It's their birthday. All of us, all of us. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's birthday. Hello, I'm ready now. Oh no, we'll get some hot dogs and mac and cheese going. Hello. Oh yeah, that's seeing a smile. That's a sophisticated dowel look. There's Bridikin. Oh, wow. Oh, look at that. That's oh, that's very kind of you guys. Oh, that's nice. Here's to Simon. 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 Bridikin and great sailing friends. Woo! Happy birthday, buddy. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah, you got the iceberg. It's so good. All right. That's what that's going to do. I don't know. What? If three yeah, options. That, that, that is incredible. Seafood mm -hmm. and Jumbo marinade. How is it? Yeah. Wow. His roast and his banana. Sausage wow. oh, yeah. yeah. Look at that! What? She says it. <laughs> wow. This is how you drink it. Oh. Oh. Okay, go time. Go time. Drink it. And believe it or not, Simon's birthday did not end after dinner. We went back to Rondo where Simon opened presents and got his cake. Whoa! Wow. Oh, 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 Thank you guys, thank you very much. These ones are good. You never need to buy a lure again. Does that include my shorts? Yes, it does. Oh wow, look at that. It's beautiful. And instead of putting Bridgeton on the mat, on the boom today, it's a style. Oh, that's brilliant. Oh, thank you. Oh, there's Mikey. 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 Oh, there's
Mom, it's how, so how do you feel about this? How much no these kids love you? <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot. And it, and the brother from another mother. Another mother. You'll just have to yeah. Over your head. Okay. <laughs> How did you put the line perfectly down there? I made two cakes and Sarah, Ansley, and I ate the other half. Yeah, yeah I guess let get them all. Oh, 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 hurry up. Okay. All right. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Hello, Torch Buddy. And it was only a matter of time before okay. Twister made its appearance. Now how many people can say that they've played Twister on the forward trampoline of a catamaran? Oh, this is not happening. <laughs> <laughs> we go in. foot in the air. Right <laughs> foot We played Twister for like two minutes. They've been played for five minutes, the girls, the mummies. And look how it is. The most boring Twister ever. Foot on yellow. Right foot green. No, right foot green. Okay. <laughs> Not Wave around like you don't care. <laughs> Damn, honey, don't hurt your neck. Thank you. The following day was a quiet one. We all laid by the pool and recovered from Simon's birthday celebrations. That evening, we went to bed early with the intention of heading back up to Rodney Bay the next day to book into the marina. We had a few jobs to get done. There's a small canal you go through that then opens up to the marina area. If you're headed for the main town of Rodney Bay, you can also take your dinghy through here and hang a right. If you head all the way to the right once you're in there, you'll see a town dock. When you come into the marina, the fuel dock is straight ahead on the left-hand side. It has a big sign that says fuel dock. The fuel is duty-free once you check out, so make sure you plan your departure in line with getting less expensive fuel. Now, straight ahead is where the big boats dock, right there, straight ahead. And then over to the right is where the normal size boats go. Rodney Bay Marina has electricity for both European and American boats, so when you're calling in, make sure to specify what electricity you need. Straight ahead, you'll see some buildings. The one on the left is a good-sized hardware store with some marine supplies, and within the marina itself, there's a really nice boat chandlery to use. Wait for instructions. You can use the pool today, Sienna? Yeah? Rondo and Pura Vida anchored in the bay and we all met up at one of the marina bars to plan our evening events. We decided we would head into town to get a bite to eat. We could have all taken our dinghies to the town dinghy dock, but St. Lucia is unfortunately one of those islands where dinghies and outboards go missing very quickly. Rondo and Pura Vida lock their dinghies in the marina, a safer spot, and the walk into town isn't too far. Oh, man, get off! That's the best way to clear your bar. Oh, 
Okay, we're gonna go and take the motor. These guys are gonna help me, it's gonna save $160. Cause they were wanting to haul it at haul that engine out on the dinghy for $160. Uh, just had the engine serviced because it's a new engine, not to keep the warranty up. But they wouldn't let me film it. Doesn't I say free advertising, but they didn't want me to film. I wasn't even supposed to watch, but as long as I stood outside the uh, shop, I could watch. Or not watch. I don't know, but I watched anyway. And it's running smooth. While Simon was sorting out our outboard, Dawa got some heat deflection material and lined the microwave space. Is it gonna fit? I think it will. <laughs> I think it's gonna fit exactly. Awesome, I hope so. <laughs> Only one way to find out. The microwave fit perfectly, so thank you, Dawa. Our only issue is that none of us know how to read French. After all the day's chores were done, we met up with our boat buddies to discuss checking out and more importantly, tomorrow's race. Is this going to be the first race between us all? No, we've been having races all the time. Oh, come on. We race every time we're here. Yeah, but well, this is official. This is our first official race. Okay. The handicap system is that we're just doing it over a set period. And I've got an average eight knots. Okay, what does Mike have to average? Six and a bloody half. I don't believe that. No, that's, that's not too that's low. Not, yeah. Way too low. Yeah. I don't, Seven at least. All right, what's Hayward and Ansley have to average? They get six. six. We have to average four and a half. Six. Is four and a half. So how does this handicap work? From this point to this point, I will, t I will find out. You have to do it in an hour and eight minutes. How do you know? I, I, I figured he figured it out. It Simon stayed up From last night for four hours. To... He's got it all mapped out on a so, like graph paper. So Are you serious? Oh, I got to see it. this. It was after he read the dictionary for Don't a while. Listen to me. <laughs> I worked it out in about 20 seconds. Do it in 52 and a half minutes. You'll probably have to do it in probably about 59. You're competing with your projected time. Right, okay, my projected time is an hour and eight minutes. If I do it in an hour 10, 22, so that is plus 222. Right. Okay. If I do it in plus 2.24, then we beat you. Then you beat us by two seconds. They, they win it. So that's the way you do it. I don't trust the flaw. Yeah, but you don't think he's becoming a murderer? No, I think he's gonna, I think he's gonna yeah. cut me off again. Okay. <laughs> we work it out at that time. You're, you're averaging six. You're averaging six by eight. We're averaging eight. And then, if you two beat me by six minutes, both averaging, that means that yours is pretty right, then I have to draw mine down. But then if I win by six minutes, that means my handicap goes up. So we can work it out. Yes, I got it. Who do you think's going to win? The fluff. Really? Yeah, the fluff. 6.8? 6 6.8. 6 you think, think the fluff is going to win? I don't know. I, I wasn't doing 6.8 by... I wouldn't have been close to 6.8. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. Uh, if, if, how? Yeah, you're doing it hey, all the time. Hey, hey, does he, does does he not get smaller as he's late? I mean, he gets smaller and smaller. And smaller. When's the last time you made it under eight minutes? What's the last time we lost, son? A long time ago. Look at the face! Here we are leaving the marina. For our Patreon patrons and Britican club members, we provide a step-by-step -step video on how to successfully leave a dock by calmly and effortlessly using only one line. If you'd like access to our premium content, please become a Patreon or Britican club member. Details can be found below. Bye, Rodney Bay Marina. Yeah, thank you for having us. Thank you for having us once again. This is one of the best marinas ever. Yeah. Absolutely love this place. You can yeah. get everything done here. The people are great. Great restaurants. Very sheltered. 
One of the best marinas in the Caribbean, for yeah, sure. Also, you can get European and American power, which is really, really handy. Yeah, if you want to run your air conditioning and you have a new European boat. Yeah, the clock. It's not the UV style yet, is it? Yeah, the clock is ahead of us. It's really four minutes. Still in time, anyway, so it doesn't matter who's crossing the line. The race okay, is started. Right so we just stopped our clock. And we got 50, 54 11. So what's that mean, Sam? I think we won by. One minute, 22 seconds. Really? Yeah. Well, that's kind of a good handicap you did to come, everyone to come in so close. Before we left Marigot Bay and St. Lucia completely, we filled up with fuel. I had an absolutely fantastic time. We went to the Indian restaurant, which is in this building behind me. It was probably the best restaurant in all of St. Lucia. It was absolutely fantastic. If you like Indian, or if you haven't had Indian before, definitely go there. Goodbye, Marigot Bay. Yeah, goodbye, Marigot Bay. Again, beautiful place. Loved it. Yeah, and goodbye, St. Lucia, because yes. we're going to uh, St. Vincent now. Yes, And the Grenadines. Bye, St. Lucia. Thank you for having us. <laughs> Sienna? Remember to visit SailingBritican.com to find out more about our sailing guides, Britican Club, and learn about our week-long Britican Live Aboard Sailing Experience offering.